This is Kyle Martin Paintings. <laughs>
I'm ending the painting session for today. This is how far I got. One thing as I was painting today, driving out into the landscape takes a lot of time and energy. Sometimes finding what you want to paint if you're working from life is the most time consuming part of the painting session. Working from a still life is often no different. What I mean by that is last night I spent about an hour getting all of this stuff together all of the lemons and the pitchers and the glass and the spoon and the knife and the plate, getting all that in a box. And in the morning yesterday, I also spent some time walking around the yard trying to find a good place to set up and create a still life. I'm standing on top of the plywood board right now because the ground is so uneven that, that I would be just in a weird spot for my feet and my ankles. The reason I'm talking about all that is just that even painting a still life in your own yard can take up so much time and that time can either be well spent or it can be not well spent in today's situation i think i have a great start i think i'll be able to come back tomorrow and finish this off i focused on the way that i set up the items in my still life i took probably 20 photographs of different configurations until i found one that i liked i created a value sketch of the still life before i got started i did that just so that i had a roadmap for where to go with this painting and how to get started finally when i got to the canvas i focused on the drawing for quite a while there's a lot going on in this still life and it would have been really easy for me to skip ahead without focusing on the fundamentals of good drawing, good values, and good color. That's where I'm going to end today. Well, I hope that tomorrow morning is another nice, bright, and sunny day so we can finish this still life off. But for now, I'm going to go inside the house and have something for lunch. We'll finish this one off tomorrow. It's time to get started for the day. I came out a few minutes ago and set up all the things for the still life and I have my paints and my brushes. It's the first week of July and you can see right behind me that we've had kind of a drought here in Wisconsin and the corn is not as high as it normally is for the first week of July. They always used to say the corn should be knee high by the 4th of July and this year it probably was just knee high but with all the GMO corn and that kind of thing. Normally it's more like shoulder high by the 4th of July. One thing that I'm going to be working on is adding a lot of color to what I have going on in my still life. I'm in the business of creating sunlit painting and in order to do that I always start with these major puzzle pieces and just add that sparkle. If you're like me and you're in the business of creating paintings that have uh, that sparkle of sunlight and that share the beauty of natural sunlight do is you have to kind of turn off the part of your brain that feeds you information and just mix colors and just paint what you see but as far as painting goes sometimes when you know too much about your subject it can actually be a hindrance to you in creating kind of impressionistic painting the idea of perceiving from the bottom up instead of the top down i have to look out here and i have to say to myself yeah these are lemons but look here how this lemon, and lemons are yellow. That's what my brain is telling me. Well, in this situation right here, there's light coming through this green vase falling onto this lemon, and it's actually creating a green cast onto that lemon. I have to paint that influence of the light coming through the green bottle. And when you perceive from the bottom up, you're respecting what you're seeing, and you're painting what is actually in front of you. Instead of painting and perceiving from the top down, which means that the lemon is yellow, you have to paint it yellow. That's my best advice. That's something that I always think about. There's so much talk about living in the moment. We can be. We truly are living in the moment because we're taking our senses into consideration.
day. 